are accomplished by talented people who believe they will accomplish them. To the most kind and intelligent instructor, Sir Almar, and to all of my classmates, good day to each and everyone. My reminders, first, actively participate to the discussion and activity. Second, know to close camera. Third, groom yourself properly during session. Fourth, enrich yourself with values and knowledge. And lastly, but not the least, listen attentively to the teacher and write down the important details. Is that understood? Okay, let's start! Before we begin, let us play the game. Bluff or fact? All you need to do is thumbs up if your answer is fact. And thumbs down if your answer is bluff. Here's the question number one. The role of the teacher is to make sure that their students learn. Your time is up. The answer is... Back! Second, the purpose of an assessment is to make sure that the learning is not happening. Or bluff. Very good, it's a bluff question. There are different kinds of strategies that are suitable in both multigrade and monograde classes. It's a bluff or fuck. Very good, it's a fuck. Student portfolios are examples of strategies in teaching. It's a fact or bluff. Very, it's a fact. And lastly, but not the least, fifth assessment will measure the learning of the students. Very good! It's a fact! Yeah. Thank you so much everyone. You got the correct answer for that. Give the congratulations clap by clicking the clap in the right side. Yes! Let's proceed to the next activity. We called it Guess Range. You will guess the arranged words from the pictures. Number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five, six. Here's the question. What is the word that you can form based on our activity? Very good. It's a non-traditional assessment strategies and tools. In one sentence, what is your idea about non-traditional strategies and tools? And thank you so much! Here's the objective. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to First, identify the non-traditional assessment strategies and tools. Second, know the importance of non-traditional assessment and strategies and tools. And find out the assessment strategies and tools examples. I am Angelica Biodonio, your discussion for today, and I will going to discuss the non-traditional assessment strategies and tools. The role of the teachers is to make sure that their student learn. Ang pinakang gampanin ng guro ay matuto ang estudyante sa kanyang pagtuturo ng isang topic sa pamamagitan ng assessment. Dito masasabi natin kung pumasa ang bata, ibig sabihin, effective at efficient yung pagtuturo natin sa kanila. At hindi natin kailangan pangulitin yung tinuro natin. So, the main purpose of assessment it is to make sure that learning is happening or nangyayari ito. Sa pamamagitan ng evaluation, nakikita natin kung may natututunan ba yung bata sa atin. 
Kung baga, na isusulat, na imit niya yung kaalaman na napag-aralan niya. Kaya mahalaga sa ating mga guro na malaman kung ano ang nalalaman ng estudyante at kung ano pa ang kanilang kayang gawin ukol sa K-12. Kaya naman, mayroon tayong mga strategies para ma-measure yung learning ng ating mga estudyante. Kauna-unahan na nga dito ang student's portfolio. Miss Eileen, please read. Thank you so much! Ang student's portfolio ay mga talaan o lagayan ng mga aktibidad ng mga bata. Kasama dito ang quizzes, assignments, project, reports, painting, etc. Nagpapakita ng kanilang pagkatuto. Kaya bilang mga guro, mahalaga ang student's portfolio sa ating mga guro, lalo na sa ating mga estudyante. Ito ay nakakatulong para ma-evaluate nyo ang progress ng isang bata at kaalaman nito sa isang subject. Second, mamit niya ba yung requirements at the end of the quarter? Pasado o mababa ba yung bata? Third, mayroon bang involvement ng knowledge? They become more engaged in their learning, thereby improving learner outcomes. At higit sa lahat, may improve nito yung communications between teachers and parents dahil magsisilbi itong evidence sa mga magiging grades ng bata. Pangalawa, Students' Teachers Conference. Maria Cristina, please read. Thank you. Dito, magkakaroon tayo ng teacher and student centered sa paano paraan sa pamamagitan ng recitation, discussion, at project, hinahayaan ng teacher na makipag-collaborate sa ibang bata at, haya, at hayaan na sila ay matuto. At tandaan, bilang guro, we have the involvement in our students by guiding them in their activity kung ano at paano nila ito gagawin ng matagumpay. Let me know kung naiintindihan pa po ba ako. Please comment your feeling right now. Ayan, nakikita ko po na marami pang nakikinig. Thank you so much. Miss Isa, please read. Thank you so much. Observation naman po ay ito yung mga information na pwedeng recorded or written in anecdotal note. Ito po yung factual written record ng bata. From the word factual ay totoo lang po ang nakalagay dito. Halimbawa na lang, absenero yung bata. This attendance po ay yun ang lalagay mo. Factual means wala kang pakialam kung magalit yung bata na mababa yung nota niya o kung ano man. Observation dito nakatala lahat ng mga pinagagawa ng mga estudyante mo at kung ano ang mga progress niya in factuality. Next po, Ms. Maribel Flistreet, thank you so much. Project, reports, and assignments. Bilang magiging guro, magbibigay din tayo ng activity. Yung angkop sa kakayahan ng bata at pa grade level ng bata para ma-improve yung abilities ng bata sa individual at groupings upang may apply nila yung learnings nila. Fifth, peer and self-assessment. Ms. Leia, please read. Thank you so much. Ito yung activity na i-judge mo yung sarili mo, pati na rin yung mga kagrupo mo. Ito, lahat kayo, buong klase ay magbibigay ng grades sa isa't isa, including dun sa specific criteria na ibigay ng inyong koro. For instance, reading self-assessment and self-evaluation. Joyce, please read the marking case. Thank you so much. Ito naman yung written assessment criteria na ibinigay ng guro kung paano niya bibigyan ng grades ang kanyang mga estudyante base sa, base sa kanilang performance. Lastly but not the least, Mr. Alpi, please read. Thank you so much. Checklist, ito naman po yung guide ng mga estudyante para maabot nila yung criteria ng activity na ibinigay ng kanilang guro. Clearly, ito yung checklist na nagpapakita sa teacher at mga estudyante kung paano ma-achieve ang objective of the given assessment po. Another purpose of assessment is for reporting to parents, guardians, and for future teachers and head teachers po. Kasi ito yung magsisilbing ebidensya. Lalo na yung mga magulang may, nag may mga nagahapol. Bakit ganito yung grades ang anak ko? Bakit ganito mababa? Meron tayong ebidensya na ipapakita na ipapaliwanag lang natin ng maayos na ganito po yung grades ng bata. Ipapakita, ipapakita natin yung mga assessment. Ibig sabihin yun na yun naging evidence natin. 
Kaya ito rin yung nagpapatunay na may learning yung bata at ano may yung kakayahan na dapat niyang paularin at malamang yung kalakasan ng bata, lalo na sa kanyang abilidad. Bilang magiging guro, tayo ang magpo-provide ng kanilang records sa pamagitan ng students' portfolio, notes from teachers' students' conferences, checklists, and observation. Each student's work samples, conference notes, etc. will be different in multi-grade class. And that's always my report. But before that, let's remember this. I can do all things through Christ which is strengthened me by Philippians 4.13. Nasabi lang dito, Kapag natutunan natin magtiwala sa ating Panginoon, magkakaroon tayo ng lakas at lahat ng gusto natin, ng gusto natin matupad ay matutupad sa pamagitan niya. Basta magtitiwala lang tayo sa Kanya at magtitiwala tayo sa ating mga sarili. Yun lang po at tatandaan niyo po yan palagi. Yung evaluation ko po can be posted in RGC. Um, any question po? If you have question or clarification, Kindly send PM by a messenger. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Good luck in our finals. Bye!